Okay, okay, stop the music. Jasper's not actually dead, but an interesting plotline is. Steven Universe, Beta and Earthlings, starts with Steven and Amethyst going to visit those wacky roommates Peridot and Lapis, who've been making art and watching sappy soap operas for however long it's been. But no amount of postmodern expressionism can make Amethyst feel anything other than a strong desire to pound Jasper's face in. So Perry suggests checking out the kindergarten where Jasper was made. And who do they run into there? None other than the angry orange herself. She's been building an army of corrupted gems. And flimsy excuse provided, Amethyst proceeds to write a check her butt can't cash. That's an interesting way to phrase sound defeat. But, fortunately, a new fusion named Smoky Quartz can. In desperation, Jasper fuses with one of the corrupted gems, and, uh, the end results ain't pretty. With the newly corrupted Jasper safely bubbled away, the gang returns home to find that the rubies are back. These two episodes have some definite good things about them, but I would be lying if I said I didn't feel like this was a major missed opportunity. Let's start with Jasper. Hey guys, I think I actually feel bad about what happened. <coughs> nope, that was actually just a burrito I had for lunch. Never mind. You're all heart, Sergeant. I think we can call Jasper's arc officially over, along with her character development. And that's too bad, because this was the first and probably last time she was genuinely interesting as a character. Her absolute devotion and intense commitment to the Diamonds was compelling stuff. But sadly, Steven Universe doesn't let characters like that hang around for long. Isn't that right, Bismuth? Okay, now let's look at Smoky Quartz. I like the idea of this free-spirited trickster coming out of a combination of Amethyst's chaotic energy and Steven's childlike whimsy. And the shield yo-yo was a great idea. But wow, that design needs some serious work. Smoky Quartz is not a good-looking gem. Asymmetry is best used for alien or nightmarish creature designs. This is just messy. Alright, now on to the supporting character awesomeness of Miss Perry Dot. She's darn amazing here. From her explanation of her and Lapis' artistic creations, to this brilliant moment where she looks at the hole Jasper popped out of, Pear Dot is made of win. With the lovely Lapis Lazuli coming in a close second with her detached mopey shtick. Finally, let's talk about the big revelation, and the questions that it raises for both the past and the future of Steven Universe. As she's being corrupted, Jasper tells Steven and company that she's been fighting because of what Rose did to Pink Diamond. This could mean a lot of things, but for now, we have reason to believe that Pinky's not around anymore. So, did Rose kill her? Question mark? Only time will tell, of course, but it's a fascinating new mystery. Okay, now it's time to break down the good and the bad in Steven Universe, Beta, and Earthlings. On the good side, a new fusion is always exciting. The info drop on Pink Diamond was interesting, and all things Peridot and Lapis. On the other hand, Smoky Quartz needs a redesign, and Jasper's arc ended too soon for my taste. So I give Steven Universe, Beta, and Earthlings a 3.5 out of 5. Now if you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private!